Today I'm talking about habits because I am a super nerd when it comes to my habits and systems and I've read all the books and I've tried all the things and found something that works for me pretty well. The idea of t-shirt sizing when it comes to habits. So that is having a small version, a medium version and a large version of what you could do. Um, I found really helpful because we are not robots, we are human beings and um, I think we trick ourselves into thinking we're going to have 100% energy every day and then oh big surprise we get sick or some days we just don't feel like it and because that is totally normal I really like the idea of this system because it allows for those ebbs and flows. So the example of um, t-shirt sizing like how it applies to my habits um, the first one is my um, daily blog contribution or blog development so a bit of a meta um, item but um, the smallest version of a thing I could do each day is come up with a post idea so just literally go into the notes file on my iPhone and just jot down anything I don't even have to write a post about that idea um, in the future it's just having the idea and writing it down so the absolute bare minimum is just come up with one idea however terrible put it in the thing and I'm done for the day. That's some contribution. The medium size version is taking one of those ideas or a new one and turning it into an outline. So that is jotting down like what's going to be the point of this post? What's someone going to get out of it? Um, what's going to be the kind of the start, the middle, the end, any references, just jotting down the kind of bones of what um, this post could be about. And that's the medium size version. And then if I happen to have a lot of time or a lot of energy or a lot of like brain space to actually write a post, that's my large t-shirt size. So that's the large version of the habit that I could choose to do. And to be honest, I'll probably only do that once a week. And actually a large version turns into something like this where I record the video and then um, write the post to match. So maybe I should rethink um, what, a, what is a blog post and what is a video. Anyway. Um, so that's how I use that t-shirt sizing for um, a daily blog blogging habit. Um, the next one I use is step count. So I do have an average goal I want to hit of seven and a half thousand steps per day. Um, but I've got a minimum goal of four thousand. So even on the days where I'm like really not feeling it, I'm not feeling um, healthy and vibrant or I, I need to rest, I want to have that absolute minimum of 4,000 steps even if that's just like a few laps of the house or a few laps of the backyard while I'm on the phone or listening to a podcast or um, just making sure I'm getting that that minimum kind of body movement then seven and a half thousand is like the medium size um, and 10,000 is if I'm feeling you know really um, really active that will be the plus goal. The third one in my t-shirt size habits is daily yoga. So I do 10 minutes of stretching as the minimum each day. That's my small size goal. The next level up would be 30 minutes and the top level would be 60 minutes. This is a case where I, I have adjusted the system from a daily um, habit system to a weekly habit system. And when I did that, when I have um, a 10 minute per day goal, I know there's going to be a day where I don't feel like stretching. Um, and so I've got instead of that daily goal, I've got a 60 minute weekly goal, which means I can do 10 minutes a day over six days and I'll get a day off. I might do 10 minutes a day over four days and then a 20 minute day and then I can have two days off. Um, I can kind of pick and choose and it makes it even more flexible. The other kind of uh, weekly um, habits that I try to build up to is 50,000 steps is my minimum over the course of the week. So if I know I've done a couple of like 20,000 step days, I get a few like respite days and then 60 minutes of workout. That means the same kind of thing again, maybe three 20 minute workouts or one 60 minute workout. I went to a no lights, no lycra dance class the other day. Um, it went for a whole hour. That's my minimum done for the week. So you can kind of then, you know, um, use the week as the bucket and, and fill it up at different amounts depending on what energy you have through the week. So that works really well for me as well. The next thing I wanted to talk about is habit stacking. And that's how you can 
build up a habit based on attaching it to something you already do. I think this one's a James Clear special, author of Atomic Habits, a must read for any habit nerds out there like myself. And so when it comes to my habits with the daily yoga, I just attach it to when I wake up. So I wake up, I sometimes don't even change out of my pajamas. I just wake up and go straight into the lounge room or sometimes out to the studio and just start stretching. And I just do it without thinking. It's not like I've started my day doing other things and then oh, I've got to stop and stretch. It's just wake up and go stretch. Um, and I find that really helps make sure that I, you know, actually just do it. It's out of the way and then my body feels good and mobile for the day. Um, the next one is my daily steps. I've started um, pairing this with listening to a podcast. And so either in the morning before work or on a lunch break or in the evening after work, I'll be sort of wanting to um, listen to something. And so if I'm walking at the same time, um, that gives me, you know, the two for one special. So I'm, I'm doing both of the things that I enjoy. And then finally, the daily blog habit. This is one I'm just starting to try and um, get a little more um, consistent with. But um, that's something that I want to build into the evening. It feels like something I don't I don't have time for in my morning routine. And my work days are um, full of work. So um, the evening is where I'm trying to fill in this kind of, okay, at a minimum, if I've got energy, write down that idea, next level, um, do the outline, and next, um, write a first draft. So the t-shirt sizing and the habit stacking is working pretty well for me. Um, the other thing that I do that is kind of next level is um, a habit tracking spreadsheet. So um, this is something I use a Google Sheet for. I originally started it to monitor some um, gut issue symptoms I was having um, and how the things I was doing or the vitamins and the meds I was taking were affecting um, those symptoms. So um, what you're looking at here is just a simple spreadsheet that I've built up over time with some conditional formatting um, to, turn, uh, to turn the cells a particular color if they're not empty. Um, I'm not going to go too deep into this. This could be the subject for another day, but if I go back to the beginning, I didn't used to track all the things that I'm tracking now. I started off just tracking um, these meds in blue and started with some vitamins in purple and these kind of um, red gut, gut issue um, tags in a big bold color so I could kind of see when the meds were doing their job. Um, and then over time I thought, oh, actually it might be quite helpful if I start tracking, you know, my exercise minutes or my step count. Um, and so I added different rows for those things. Um, and then I started tracking things like each week, am I meeting that, you know, um, 60 minute stretch goal, 60 minute exercise goal, um, uh, and 60 minute workout goal. Um, and then over time I'd put in other things like, when did I get my period? And then at some point in time, I started filling in all the food I was eating and just to see if there were any patterns there with like food I was eating and symptoms I was having, you know, the exercise, the meds, the periods, all the different things. Um, and finally, I added in this sort of self-care line and looking at, oh, well, how often am I taking um, a spa? I'm kind of lucky enough to have a spa in my house. So um, is that something that I could try and build up as, as a regular sort of practice and just Having the data there, I found really helpful in being able to not just rely on my memory for like, what have I been doing? But I can actually look back and see. Um, and then, yeah, continued evolving the, um, the spreadsheet over time, sort of adding and removing rows. If I've tried um, a particular vitamin for, vitamin for a while and then stopped using it, I would hide that row so I don't need it anymore. But if I start taking it again, I could bring it back. Um, I started a green tagging system just with my own kind of um, intuit of um, what deserves a green tag with my food tracking and that is about really you know vegetable and fruit and, and whole food content as opposed to eating carbs and toasts or bagels as I am one to do um, and yeah I find this really motivational I find the data really um, useful in, in making better decisions about what I'm eating and um, and getting proper movement in um, and then yeah as we get closer to current day I've started using um, one color to kind of show what my goal is so um, I use this yellow to 
sort of note down where I'm really trying to make sure I take my vitamin C, D and a probiotic um, every day. And then if I um, meet those goals, they'll, they'll go this different color. Um, and the last little thing I guess that's pretty cool is um, you can then start to chart these things. So this shows my kind of yoga, um, yoga and workouts. Actually, these are just yoga minutes, I think. Um, so this might have gone down because I'm really only doing the 10 minutes a day. But what's going up is my workouts per month. And again, you see you've got like low months when there's been other things going on in life or maybe I've been not well or wh whatever else was happening. But um, trying to see this trend line go up and, and trying to beat, you know, previous month scores is really um, motivating. Um, and then I've got this kind of workouts by type so I can build it out over time with different types of, of workout to pick from um, so I don't get bored. Sometimes I forget what I actually like to do. It's like, oh yeah, I do like playing tennis sometimes um, and picking and choosing from those. Anyway, that is my hectic habit tracking system, um, which I pair with the t-shirt sizing philosophy and the habit stacking philosophy and it works pretty well for me um, and in terms of my gut symptoms that I had been having and where I'm up to now um, the I, I don't know if it's to do with the habit tracking but um, or just coincidence but I'm currently symptom free and it's been since the last few months of really paying close attention to my body movement and what I've been eating so maybe a coincidence or maybe this shit works um, <laughs> anyway I'd love to hear if anyone has any other habit tips that work for them. And um, as always, if this was kind of interesting and if you might be interested in other um, random productivity, health and um, habit related videos, then please do subscribe or um, share a comment. I'd love to know if, if people are enjoying these and hopefully that will, you know, give me a kick up the butt to keep making them. Okay, thanks. Bye.